focus on this year five major areas now that's what the lord placed in my heart he said focus on that you know what they call focus your focus should be what you are looking to attain to achieve and do you know i want i want a brother ay he's always good at picking my points and making something from it is he in church so don't worry by the grace of God. This coming Sunday, I will announce departments and their heads. I don't want to keep you waiting today. So take note of this. Listen, I wrote this down. Ay and Co. Take note of it. The easiest way to get a person destroyed is to succeed in making him lose focus from major things. I come again. The easiest way to get a person destroyed is to succeed in making him lose focus in major things. Now, when you succeed to make a person to lose focus in the things that are major, you will succeed to destroy his life. I'll say this second one. If you can shift a person's focus, you have succeeded to change his life. If you can shift a person's focus, you have succeeded to change his life. Once you change his focus, you have changed his life. Anyone that can change your focus will change you. If you want to change your life, all they just need to do is to change what you are looking at. Take this one too. Still the same point. If you can shift a person's focus. Okay, I've said this. Now, and how do I know this? Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2. Look at what the Bible says. Now, it is our focus that determines what we put ourselves into. That's why you see that a child that is doing well academically, once he mixes with bad friends and they change his focus, you will see that he begins to drop in his academics. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, that's what I said. A man or a woman that is faithful to his, or his wife, faithful to her husband, once that woman or man gets connected to the wrong friend and the wrong friend begins to change that man's focus, I'm telling you the fact, you will just discover that the man will begin to change in his commitment at home. Now look at this. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Look at this. Who for the joy that was what? Set before him. Now, because joy was placed as his focus, he was looking at a kind of glory that God showed him. That if you can go through all these things, so this glory is waiting for you. Because he was looking at that glory, number one, he was able to endure the cross. So why did Jesus endure the cross? Because joy was set in front of him. If not for the joy set in front, Jesus won't uh, be able to endure the cross. Now look at this. Look at this. Because he had focus of the joy, the Bible says he despised the shame. He didn't count the shameful things that was done to him as meaningful at all. Kukasi, because he has focus. That's why I must tell you the truth. Even every parent that is here. If you want your children to be serious, give them a focus. At times when I see beggars, I see strugglers, I see people that wasted their life, I always show them to my children. They say, look at this. Do you like this kind of life? Once they say no, I will tell them what those people did that made them who they are. Now, at times I show them pictures of great people. Look at that guy, made first class. And I'll make them hear the speech of the person. It's wow, this is what he did. Now, once you can change a person's focus, you have changed his life. And God said we must focus on five things this year for us to enjoy marvelous air. Number one, focus on your relationship with God this year. Focus on it. Make your relationship with God a priority this year 
Now, don't take God as a second choice. Don't take God as a second choice. Do not allow anything to come in between you and God. Take God as your priority. Do you know why? Now, look at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to verse 20. When you make God a priority, your relationship with him as number one, these are the things that will happen to you. Verse 18 and 19 is what will happen. But if you refuse, look at verse 20. That's what will happen. In verse 18, it says, come. God is saying, come. Let us reason together. This year, says the Lord, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, crimson, they shall be as wool. You just come and let's reason together. He now said in verse 19. I love verse 19. Let's look at verse 19. Verse 19. He says, if you are willing and obedient, what will happen to you? You shall eat the good of the land. Now, you know this verse 18 is exactly what is happening in Matthew 6. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness. He said, what everybody run after shall be an addition to you. It's a plus. Now, but look at verse 20. Verse 20. Now, look at verse 20. Le gadaba soto yen gadaba asha. He says, but if you refuse and rebel, look at this. He said, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Now, what should be your number one priority this year? Focus on your relationship with God. Now, and when we talk about relationship with God, I arranged it in alphabetical order A, B, and C. A, in relationship with God, it talks about devotion to his instructions. Follow his instruction. No, he has principles. If you follow his instruction, he will be your friend. If you follow his instruction, he will be your father. So, in, when we say having relationship with God, we are talking about you making up your mind that I will not only hear the word of God this year, I'm making up my mind that I will be a doer of this word of God I am hearing. Hello? Now, in relationship with God, B, it means devotion to seek slash search to know him better. If a person is in relationship with God, what does it mean? It means that that person is into a devotion to know God better. So that kind of a person, you don't read Bible once a while. You want relationship with God, you don't come to church once a while. Because you don't come to church, you are not coming to church because you want to show a new dress. You are not coming to church because you want to meet somebody. You are coming to church because you want to learn something new about, about God. Am I communicating? So a person that is relating with God, that person has what we call devotion to searching and seeking to know God better. It is that hunger to search that drives you to the Bible. You want to read the Bible. It is that hunger for a search that drives you to the place of prayer. You just want to pray. No, I'm not talking about, Father, bless me, bless me kind of prayer now. I'm talking about prayers of, Lord, please let me know you more. Look at the level of miracles that Elijah performed in his days. Do you know that he got to a point he didn't know God again? How? God said to Elijah, meet me at the, at the top of the mountain. He got to the mountain. The Bible says there was a raging storm. Bah, bah. Elijah went to stand at the entrance. Lord speak. God said, I am not there. There was fire. Outbreak. He was waiting. God didn't show up. These were the levels of God he knew. But the Bible says there was this gentle wind that came. He didn't expect. It was at the gentle wind. Because he was paying attention that the voice of God now came through. This year, if you are going to relate with God, it means you must devote time to search to know him how better. Listen, if at my level as your pastor, with what I have known about God, I am still saying, Lord, I want to know you more. I have not known you at all. That's why when I hear my fathers in the faith speak, I, I open my eyes like this. Now, when Pastor Adibu was speaking at the Congress, I was touched. I told you what I did now. I brought the money to church today. This is the money. Can you see that it's signed? 
Now, when Pastor Adiboy said, lift up a material at the last day of the conference, at the Congress, this year's, uh, last year's Congress, he said, lift up that material. He now shared a testimony. He said, many years ago, if some of you remember, God said I should come with my Agbada, the Agbada I used to pray. And God said, everybody should just come and touch. Don't hold, just touch and go back. He said, after he prayed, he lifted up the Agbada up and told everyone to come and touch. And one man said, if touching will solve the problem, grabbing will do better. You know, Nigerians, the man now grabbed the Agbada. Nothing happened to him. He went home. As he got home, he started shouting, fire, 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 until they sent for Pastor Adeboe. Before he got there, it was in the middle of the night. The man was shouting fire. He said, now ask the man. God said, I should ask you, what have you done wrong? The man said, you said we should touch. I grabbed the Agbada, thinking that the more I grab it, the more my problems will be solved. Because I was saying my problem is beyond touching. When he said that my faith jacked up, he said, so get the material. And I was not at home. I was watching it online. So I took this money. It was in my pocket. And he said, lift it up. I lifted it up. He said, drop it down. I drop it down. He started praying. He started praying. He said, once I finish the prayer, pick, it, the, pick whatever you use as material. And demand for what you want. I picked it up and I said, Lord, I won't spend this money. Lord, as long as I have this money in my possession, may I never be broke. Do you know that from that day, if I change my clothes, I will change the position of the money. When I wanted to wear this one today, I brought it up. I put it here. Stop thinking that you will take it from me. You can't take it. So if at my level of spirituality, I see this because before I used to think that uh, is it not I do worship me? Is it not I do literally? You know, that's what I was thinking before. But when he shared some deep mysteries, I was touched. I learned. And I kept it. And it has been working. So this year, devote more time. If what you have been reading in the Bible before is one verse, go to one chapter. If what you have been reading is one chapter, go to two. Because see, can I tell you this truth? The more you know this God, the more easy the journey of life will become. Because we serve a God that knows the end of a thing before it even began. What does it mean to, to relate with God? See, I've shown you A. What is A again? Devotion to his instructions. You must be obedient. What's B? Devotion to seeking, searching to know him better. And what's C? devotion to revealing him to others. If you want to relate with God this year, you must talk about him anywhere you enter. At least, if you say you have a friend that loves you, that you love, you can't do without talking about him. Hello? God wants us to reveal him to others. This year, make up your mind that anywhere you enter, you will talk about God. Anywhere you enter, you will talk about the God that saved you. The God that did not allow the, 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 the river of 2022 to swallow you. That's the first instruction this year. Give attention to your relationship with God. Am I communicating? Instruction number two. Focus number two. Focus on your relationship, hear me, with those who are a plus in your life. God said, I should tell you this. Everyone that is a plus to your life, can you please write their names down? Can I even ask you, do you even know those people? Some of you don't know at all. Some of you are not patient enough to know those people that impacted your life. You don't know that such people, you don't joke with them. You don't know that such people, the devil will want to cause misunderstanding between you and them. Do you know? Thank God that Joshua knew that it was the lifting of the hand of his Moses that made him to add victory in, battle, in the battlefield. Some of you don't know the people impacting your life. That's why you just welcome every gossip. Somebody will come and talk to you about your pastor and you will believe. 
Somebody will come to you and talk against your epa of destiny and you just believe. And bam, just like that, you will close that relationship. That's the reason why people suffer. See, I hear now. Even I ask it in my notes. Do you know them? If you do not know them, then you will abuse them. If you do not know them, you will allow other people to push you against them. That's why, if you look at the life of Joshua, you will see how he cherished his relationship with Moses. Please take note. Write those names down. If you can write those names in your notebook now, write them as the message is hot in your heart. Who are those people impacting your life? And you will look where to the ah, my worry, my ah, sister. Today, our sister talk on talk on. You want your shit bad now? To but he send the message. You don't see one. Tete send the lady see any. Who are those people that say, okay, don't worry, we are praying for you. Do you want them? Okay, one pray for him. Who are those people that when they teach you the word of God, it it makes your head to correct and your focus to be awakened. These are people, excuse me, impacting your life. Look at when people came to Elisha. Elisha, let's tell you about your master. He said, don't bother. Don't bother. Some came. Do you know that? Do you know that God is going to take your master? He said, don't bother. I know. He didn't welcome any discussion against them. Elomio was sensitive. He was sensitive. He was sensitive. He was sensitive. He he did she she telling me. Oh, my boy, you are beautiful. You are starting to call. But my brother, to marry you, I will not forbid. And you begin to cause trouble for yourself. Hello, God said I should tell you this. Pay attention to your relationship with those who are a plus to your life. How do you pay attention to such people? Number one, pray for them. When you discover such people in your personal prayer, be praying for them. Wama gbadrua si funwa. Boba shing gbadrua nule ma daru konwa si. Number two, what do you do about such people? Do not allow anyone come between you and them. Ma je ke nyon konkon la nyin la anri. It's just like, let somebody come up now and begin to speak about our faith fathers. Do you know that it's because of these fathers that church still exists? No government will stand up now and say, let's close church. If he wants to say it, he will think of Pastor Adeboe. He will think of Bishop Oedeko. He will think of Pastor W.F. Kumi. He will think of Reverend Ulukoya of Mountain of Fire. Am I, am I not communicating? Let me now come up now and begin to say, all oh, these fathers are vastly dead. They are the reason why church still exists in Nigeria. Did you get it, please? Have you written down those names? Take number three. I'm reading now the instructions that God gave. Number three. Focus on your investment with time. Ah, I will just read this one. I won't do explanation. I wrote here, time is life. Time is a currency of its own and only God can give it. If you waste time, you have wasted life. If you waste time, you have wasted the currency that God gave you. I wrote this down. Please take note of this too. Time never waits. Have you discovered that? We are closing our eyes we are opening our eyes and we are discovering that we are growing in age. As as iko kin duro, olu se je ke gbogbo nkan to ye ko se, se lasiko to ye ko se. Because time doesn't wait, never wait. Listen, I wrote this down. Time does not have reverse. Or you don't notice in the vehicle of time there is no reverse gear. You can't say, take me back to five years' time, five years ago. 
take me back to five years ago. I want to go and correct something there. Time doesn't have reverse. There could only reverse. Okay, move reverse. Time does not. That's why use the time you have very well. Mafia si kotoni fi show fo. John Tori Olo, Uluwa lo ni kin so fun yun, ko ni kin be yin o, emi ni mu kan be yin bayi. Ola si ko nsin lati pada si school, pada si school. Ola si ko nsin lati ko se, pada lo ko se. Because time does not have reverse. A time will pass that you can't do those things again. You still have time that you can even say, if it is a labor job, eh? I don't want to be begging people again. It is a labor job I will go and do. You say, go and do it now. Time does not have reverse. Because see, I have seen people in their present time that, ah, they say, pastor, there's nothing I can do. I mean myself, I know that there's nothing they can do. Let me tell you the story of this doctor friend of mine. He's late now. He used to be a dental doctor in his days on earth. He attended our church before his death. His children were our members. But during his, when he was sick, he visited us. So I was preaching. I was preaching. After the service, he now called me. He said, Pastor, can I see you? I said, yes, sir. So I went closer to him. He held, he put his two hands on his walking stick because he was operated on his throat and his throat could no longer stand on its own again. So the throat came down like this. So he used his walking stick. So he put his two hands on his walking stick like this and said, Pastor, how I wish that I've had this message that you preached today long before now. I said, why are you telling me this, that, sir? I didn't know he was going to die the next week. He said, my wife did not allow me to invest at all. Once I collect my salary, all we do is to eat. Once I collect my salary, all we do is to eat. And we put all our children in expensive schools. That by the time I'm through with paying their tuition, and eat. There's nothing left. How I wish I've had this message you are preaching now long before now. I said, sir, but you still have time. I didn't know that I didn't have time. Lo and behold, he died on Wednesday. The children came. Pastor Prince Will, let's go. We believe in you. You are anointed. Let's go to UCH Mortuary and wake him up. I followed them to usage. We got to the mortuary, but the people there said no. Without uh, the consultant's uh, the, uh, permission, we can't open the mortuary to you. We did everything. Do you know that he died that year, a few years after his wife died? He didn't lay block anywhere. Time doesn't have reverse. He didn't, there was no investment anywhere for his children. So the children could no longer go to school. They started spotting around. In fact, I don't time on him. Go in reverse. 2023, let's do it. Okay, was it not Shalom, your daughter that came to see me after service yesterday? Everybody danced. He came and said, Papa, I want to see you. I said, what is it? And I love listening to children. He said, why is it that everybody is shouting 2023, they have forgotten 2022 just like that. I say, are you jealous for 2022? You are jealous for 2022 that is gone? I said, 2022 is gone. He said, this is the way everybody just saw in 2023. 2023, I see 2022 is not even good. I say, it is gone. We can't see 2022 again. 2023 is the present year. I said, do you understand? She said, yes, I understand. Even you, do you want to go back to 2022? You can't even go back. As he could only reverse you, but the opportunity to only say, Use this, use time well. Tap your neighbor, say, Open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes. The, past, the, past, the pastor will soon be true. Say, The pastor will soon be true. I wrote here, 
it is only what you do with time that determines how valuable time will be to you. Only what you do with time will determine how valuable time will be to you. Never play away your time. What do you do with time? You invest it. You use time for proper things that you say, yes, yes, this is what I did in 2022. This is what I did in 2023. Are you learning? What's, what's number three again? God said you should what? Invest with your time. Cholike, toke, toba ye poti, koshe toni ko koye wa te kopari bai. Because 2020, once of fine bai, koshe ye two years. In 2020, ah, 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 Uh, what month did you travel? Was it not in November or so? I went to buy fish at a label market. My wife was not around. And the fisherman said, He won my old dad by loan. Ah. Mobile. Ah, one kilo liter in you, one baba ten basso or anymore. One baba le coni. He be baba no le coni. Or we make his sense to see me go. And my mama wore jeans, more t shirts, thinking, I am see. More continuous thing, continuous of me in church and whatever and down, see. More wash or continue, my baby, no preach, ni convention or ni. Um, I think it was in August or so. And the usher that came to see me say, Ah, Daddy, Mulai Kashua, why you stay war? Mulai Kashua, why you stay war? Munisha Miki, she youth, ah, Mulai, it's a pony youth, ah. But she might put us off one on the L. Can you not imagine? King Tim, King Mighty, Bamon, Conche, Ibanujan, Bafi Kroni, Lodjan, lo, 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 Joyen, and Dava Bay, you know. But you must have went a dia, a dia in loom. She will know my wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go foundation to people doing fake me. Number four, number four, number four, number four. This year, invest your time. How do you invest it? Do productive things, do things with that brings future benefits. Shetim Binusha. I think we know is watching from the east and he's saying, I know. Yes, sir. I'm preaching. Number four, the fourth instruction God said I should give you. Focus on your commitment, hear me, to consistent self-development. God said I should tell you this year, develop yourself more. What changes your price? Eh? It's not your age. It is your wisdom. It is your wisdom that changes your what? Not your age. If you are not improving in what? In knowledge, in wisdom. Not even knowledge now. In wisdom. You, your price will not change. And how do you improve in wisdom? Develop yourself more. Even as a pastor, improve yourself so that you will get to a point that professors will listen to you and take notes. You know, there are some pastors that cannot pastor professors. Some pastors cannot pastor doctors and lawyers. Some pastors cannot pastor beyond market women. Because all that market women know, I'm talking about market women that are illiterate, so all they know is, and he said, He no shele. A kuruko jisule meta, fire le meta, a mole meta, yano, uluwa. But doctor, we want to tell you, I've gone to school. This is simple physics. If you plus this, plus this, you get this. Teach me what to plus.
This year, God said we should improve ourselves. I told you I visited the owner of Brighton Hotel. And as I got there, they were, they were renovating the hotel. And I was asking why he's putting in much money in renovation. Ah, ah. They changed the face of the hotel. He says, sir, I asked him, why are you doing this? He says, sir, if the hotel does not meet, does not mean, uh, meet current fashion, some people will not attend to it. Some people will not patronize them. So they had to keep changing to have what we call current fashion. What they are using now. Hello? Even as instrumentalists, improve yourself. As drummer, improve yourself. As gun gun man, improve yourself. Everyone will need gun to do you in law. Everyone will want what on be wally. Listen, as you improve your, sorry, as you improve in what you know how to do, the more your price changes. Because your price is not determined by your age. It is determined by the level of wisdom. So give more time to self-improvement. And can I tell you this truth? You can't improve, eh? If you are proud. Ah, how many churches do we have on this street? Baptist church is here. Redeemed church is here. One redeemed church is up here. One redeemed church is there. One redeemed church is down here. And another redeemed church is after the next one. We have about five redeemed churches around us. But they don't have our number. Is it not the same Jesus? The same. But the way I improve myself, you know, they are part-time pastors. Some of them, it may be that they will just come to the ah, now people in my bola roy by you. Ah, mude, mu busy in the bishop last week, me to a monk, but move a shaking version. One can lose all the internet. That's your business that you are doing. Go and improve on it. See, I hear now. I didn't hear you. You can do better. Even Kujun Jelun say, go to Ketras and find out why is it that people are coming more to this place? Only love the color on Jetimo. Matonai Jewo Jetie, who they were sincere to buffet that job. Maroke to recruit Jet Joe on Jetimine on Jamie Tunjon Jawan. Only the packaging of a lie. Only just she be not feel like. Am I communicating? Lastly, because of my time, what should you focus on? God told me this one. He said, focus on your commitment to your family life this year. I don't know whether you have discovered this. The older you become, the more you need relationship. Oh, you have not discovered. Go and ask the aged people. Hello, be long and I want to go. One fair come one more, Lomo. I be mommy Nuru. Baba Billy. Ha, pass it by me, Nuru. Oto Jometa Timotili. Ah, Timbaka Nuru and Moshi. We won't land. No. Okay, pass on Mumbo. Mumbo. My yard don't want to see. It's not a fault. The older you grow, the more you begin to understand the need for family life. That's why, see, can I tell you this truth? Every other person can leave you. As you grow old, friends are growing older too. They won't come to you because there's no strength. But that's your, that's your wife, your husband, that you don't want to come down to understand, it will now become a necessity at old age. Ah, that child you don't want to understand because ah, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Ah, 
In the Lord, Nikki is suffering. He said, This year, pay attention to your family life. How many friends will follow you home and remain in your house, sleeping with you forever? You know, you chose your friends, but God gave you your family. Abima. And he let choose you. Yeah, mommy, mercy. Bolon lo fun yin ni buki. Abi buki ko? Eh, Bolon lo fun yin. Te ba le ba ya se yin sere mo. So lopa ti o mu yin sin. But what about your children? See, if you are hostile to your family begin to change now. I don't know why God is saying I should say this. If you are hostile to ba le mo family eju, lo ma change by Begin to call your sisters. This year, give more attention. Call your brothers. Irrespective of religion, don't let that one bother you. Irrespective of denomination, don't let that bother you. You need them. There are points in life that nobody can stay with you except family. And God said, I should tell you, Pay attention to family life. Because some of you, you always do it. I want to go. I want, if you ask every child now to go and change their institution, they want to go far. Even my children used to say, Daddy, can I go to, can I go to Igbenedion University in Benin? Daddy, can I go to, can I go to? Ah, anytime they say I laugh. You know why I laugh? I was also like that when I was young. And I tell them, do you know why me, I'm trying to hold on to you now? Don't go to Igbenedion. Go to Lee City. Go to UI. It's because I'm beginning to realize that it will even get to a point. You carry microphone to preach. Church members will say, Baba, it's a darubu, a jekoma, a retirement it's true. But if you don't have to do go and build it. Listen, and in building home, you know what you need? You need a lot of patience. Kilo need suru kuseni tiyo ni lo wo. We used to say it in my tribe. There is no house where they do not eat the rat that has navel. Have you? I have not seen a rat that has navel before. But you know I said, it's a proverb. What you need for family life, like I said, is patience. Be patient with that child. Child, be patient with your parents. Yes, it looks as if they want to control you. But it's for a purpose. A time is going to come. Okay, the boy, boy, I want to marry. I want to marry. It is when you get married, you now know that sex is not every day. Ask the married people that are here. How many times have you had sex? It is when you get married, you will know that, see, all this, your makeup, makeup, I changed my hair uh, to this one. I changed my woman hair. I changed. Your husband will not even see you. Say Your family is a gift that God gave you. I wrote here, invest more time in your family life this year. Organize your life to have more time with them this year. I read an article. I, I, I pasted it on our WhatsApp page. 
Evan pelu pe be se wa ni east e se nso toro nbi se te lo so this man i read this man's story true life story he will always tell his children i'm busy there is a Punde in our school. Daddy, come and check. I'm busy. I don't have time. Tell your mommy, tell your mom, tell your mom to go. Hey, daddy, daddy, I, I, I don't have time. I've given money to your mommy. Ah, beloved. Iba mi wa, eh? Ejen son yoba. Olo no man mu, olo do do. Kuro le, ki ya le, je le The wife died early in life. This man now had issue with his health. Needed the attention of his children. He called the first child. The first child said, ah, daddy, I'm sorry. My husband just established an hospital. And he said, I should be around to watch over it. I'm so busy, I can't show up. And she was sincere. He called the second child. The second child said, ah, daddy, I'm not in the country. I went for a business trip. He called four of the children. None of them were available. He eventually died in that condition. This year, no matter how busy you are, I want you to create time to the point that you put an impression in the heart of your wife, your husband, and children that they are part of your priorities. Let there be time. Them, okay, most of us, if you have time and you are not patient, you just be shouting at them. Because you know, when you are available, you now begin to see their fault. Why did you open that back door? Don't you know that mosquito will be coming? Hey, Chile, Kunye. Want to see? Ha! Chef, Jani, Wobo, Chef, Bale, Kun, Da! Kilon, Dam, Wengon! The next thing, for me, me. Ah, chef, freeze. I'm in a bank. Give me B. Alright, it's me. Alright, it's me. Wah, cook on me. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Ah, a time we come. To ba feel a mom when you lara kuni ma adoti a mom. Will you build family life this year? I have it, but I'm going to build it more. As God told me, as is part of my instruction, I will build it. You know, saw the me unjadi. I call it family day. But I'm going to build it more. See, let me talk to all the parents here. Build your family life in, so, in such a way that even if your children, because me, I've gotten to that level, even if your children begin to fall in love, you can be their counselor. When they want to fall in love, you tell them, that, okay, tell me, who is the person? Okay, you know what? You can't fall in love now. You know why you cannot fall in love? Let me show you. If you are too hard, they won't tell you. She be too bad, more fall in love. No, I can't say one. But in truth, it's slay in love. Oh, le mo. Because you will be me to love. She love, love. Oh, for love, man. She, ah, she, oh, no, 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 no. They're so sorrow. Because they told us in biology now, at 15, our chromosomes continue running. So the, even the child too is experiencing something that is new to him or her. Uh -huh. Create time. Okay, let's talk. Okay, your chromosomes are moving. I can see your trouser is shaking. Yeah, sit down, my son. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yes! Let's talk. In fact, that one is job of fathers to son. That's why fathers create time. Don't drive them to their mom. Their mom does not understand the chromosomes that is moving the thing under the trouser. If, it is, if they are girls and they begin to talk about um, daddy, mommy, you know, uh, do you know I'm seeing blood? Oh, oh yeah, let's talk. Mommy, I don't know. It's like I, I'm having this feeling. Let's talk. Have you ever this story? Because in our own days, we didn't see parents to teach us all these things. 
Everything we knew, our parents knew that time was either slap or cane. The basso or chromosomes was of me, a young modini, we read this. Why are Lama Village? There are times, let me talk to you, please. We are closing now. There are times your husband is facing war outside. You know, women don't have temptation like men. Women are very strong hearted. You don't under, you don't know that men. Men are sight creatures. A man may see a woman's chest alone. And the chromosomes will not allow him to rest again. Just the, he has not, they have not opened the, the zippo. And he's coming home with battle, with that battle in his mind. A woman may be nice, only being nice to the man alone. Hey, yeah, hey, pele, hey, yeah, it is well. Hey, it's a okay, okay, will you, will you, will you please? And he's moved. Ah, hey, yeah, I've been really dead by. I've been in my death, and he's still battling. And the next thing he knocks the door, you are asking, oh, Lord, you today? Calm down. Create a good airport for him. You too, the man too. This year, be patient with your wife. Because one thing about the woman is this. If a woman tells you she's sick, she has been sick before that day. But the day she opened her mouth to tell you she's sick, she has been sick two months before. But she has just been enduring to give you food. And she'll be sick or you'll still have sex with her. But if a woman now sits, lay down the bed and say, Ah, I won't tell Remy. Am I joking, Tony? Oh, hello, Tony. This year, be patient. Because women endure a lot. That's why at times we, their husbands, don't believe them when they say they are sick. We think they are pretending. Give attention to family life. I don't know what brother Infrique is telling mommy ever. This year, you too. The prophets are speaking behind. They say you should settle down. A year in Kirimo. Have you learned something? Mommy Akinde said, Thank you, sir. Is she not in church? I think I saw her today. Okay, she's on she's online. She's just saying thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Maybe she's strong too, and you didn't. <laughs> Evan said, Message, sir. It's God's word I delivered. These are the five things he said you should pay attention to this year. And you will see how you will enjoy the year. I'm assuring you my children and my wife, they are here. By the grace of God, I will give more attention this year. You too, tell your spouse if you are sitting down beside them. All husbands, now, face your wife, look at your husband wherever they are. Husband, look at yourself. I will give you more attention this year. Mommy, what that day was looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, Sh uh, Brother Shola is online too. He said, Raw truth. Allah and Loni truth, Lawa. Truth starts it dilute. Allah and Loni. Please focus on these five things this year. Let me allow you to go home, rest, enjoy your New Year meal. How many of you are coming for the first time before we present the calendar for the year? How many of you are coming for the first time? This is your first time of worshiping with us. Anybody like that? Anyone like that? Just wave your right hand. So we all are members of staff. Oh, come, come, come forward. Come. You know, when I saw the whole place filled up at the crossover, do you know that most of them are our members? <laughs> 